Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Getting rolling here. A few technical things that hopefully are all settled. Hopefully I fix them in the back. <laughs> I think it's good. It said, we're gonna, the one... it said we were going to play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I'm like, mm, probably not that. <laughs> yeah, I, that is the one thing that I may have forgotten to change. Mandy, take care of me. Welcome, yeah. everybody, to kind of our inaugural relaunch, I don't know, stream with Mandy and me, right? Exactly. It's been a while, so, you know, we tried to jazz it up a little, get in there. I'm super excited, and uh, thank you, everybody who's dropping in live or watching the VOD later. Uh, we're really glad to have you here. Certainly, so typically Mandy runs these streams, and Mandy does so much work behind the scenes, but this time, for a couple reasons, I'm running it. So uh, if there are any audio things or anything like that, just let us know in the chat, and I will do my best to fix it. But again, Mandy's much better at this than I am, so... It's you're doing great so far, I think. Thank anyway. you. Thank you, man. I appreciate your, your vote of confidence for sure. <laughs> there. Well, for today's stream, we get to play Twin Palms, which I actually have like right Twin Palms. <laughs> I feel like that was I don't know. I something came to mind when you said that, but yes, that's so awesome. Love the cover. Yeah. It's it's a tricky game. So our stream is being sponsored by Bink Inc., who are the publishers of Twin Palms. I love the green screen. It's like messing with us already. But um, <laughs> Twin Palms is on Kickstarter right now, so you can definitely go and check that out. Um, hi, everybody in the chat. It's great to have you here. Um, if I... People who know me know I love trick-taking games. So whenever a new trick-taking game comes up, I'm super interested in it, let alone a trick-taking game with a twist, which is definitely what this game has as well. Um, so super excited to show it off. And we are going to be playing two-player. Hello, you can play two-player trick-taking. That's awesome too. And we're going to be playing on Board Game Arena because Bink Inc. has already loaded the game onto Board Game Arena. So if watching this makes you interested in trying the game yourself, real easy way for you to go and try it right after you finish watching us play, right? Exactly. All right. So Mandy, with all of yes. our friends in the chat, and thank you everybody, it's so nice to see you here. You all know us, right? <laughs> so who do you think's gonna win? Okay, listen, okay, listen, listen, listen. I am out for I don't want to say something gross. I am out for redemption here because last game, Suzanne was like, oh, Mandy, you're winning. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to catch up. Whatever shall I do? And then proceeds to beat me. Exactly. I, I have to admit there was kind of a glorious mm. last round comeback win from me that no lie. Um, I, I, I was happy with. So uh, Eric says uh, he thinks that salt's going to win, but, Nobody knows who's salt and who's sass. So, I know, hmm, right? Way to, leave it to, to Eric to find a, a workaround on all of that. So, folks, yes. Twin Palms, like I said, it's a trick-taking game. We'll go through it in a couple of seconds here, but it plays two to five. So we're going to play the two-player version, but you can play it, you know, all the way up to five. I personally have now played the game at two players, three players, and four players. And I'm, I will say I'm pretty impressed. And I mean, obviously, I'm biased or whatever, but... I'm pretty impressed that we have a trick-taking game that actually spans that player count well, and that's pretty cool. So, Mandy, what else should we say? What else have we not added that before we move over and start looking at the game? Okay, so a couple things. Let's look at the chat. There are so many people. I'm trying to type really fast, and obviously I'm too slow, but thank you so much to everybody for joining. And there are people who listen to us on the podcast, and uh, I'm thinking this is probably their first time seeing us, so special welcome to those people as well. And last thing there are no notifications on okay so oh, if you, people yeah. want to be awesome and use any of the fun things we have on the account some of them have been disabled but there'll be no sound it's just because we're trying to post this later to youtube and this video is sponsored by um thinking sorry my and Thank you. also Thinking. and also like again mandy's the pro here i'm the novice and like i'm afraid i'll break something so <laughs> thank no, you no no it's fine so yeah so i just wanted to throw that out there so Appreciate everybody, and I know you want to do the, some people do the bits thing, and love, 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 but uh, there won't be any notifications, but we'll try and, if I see it in the chat, we'll try and shout you out, so thank you so much. <laughs> and Mandy, I didn't think about this, but it's great to see yeah. folks in the chat, and thank you for anybody who's joined us um, after, you know, listening to the podcast and following us to Salt and Sass. 
uh, one of the things made me realize, you know, one of the fun things is with the podcast, sometimes we go to shows or conventions and we get recognized by our voices, but right. then people, <laughs> like, I get mistaken for you all the time. The nice thing about video, people will confuse yes. us less, <laughs> which actually makes me a little sad because I like getting confused for you, so. I know, right? It's fun, so both special. <laughs> All right, so let's um, go over and take a look at the game, shall we? Yeah. So let's here do it. is dun da 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 board game arena, and super handy that we have it on board game arena to play. So I've already set it up for a two player game, and I just realized you're gonna get all my alerts, but oh well. <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about Twin Palms real quick. First of all. Lovely trick-taking game set in kind of like a beachy Florida theme. I actually asked Christy, the designer, about the theme. Mm. And they told me that, you know, they grew up in Florida and that they love the beach. And so in a lot of ways, this setting is super personal to them. And I just thought that that was um, really lovely. Now, you are going to be watching me play. Mandy, no cheating. <laughs> now, I know I'm you're in the chat. You cover you got to cover up the rest of that window so you're not looking at my cards. Do you honestly think cheating would even help me at this point? I, I mean, don't I'm not going to, so. you know, you said it on me, girl. Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, no. Okay. Whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one feature I want to point out in Board Game Arena before I switch this over. So if you look, I've got my hand of cards at the bottom. You don't look, Mandy. I'm not, and you'll I'm see that there. it's got this lovely beachy theme and the card art is great in fact we'll take a look at some photos in just a couple seconds but i'm actually going to change this because in board game arena there's a setting and there's a card style original is the full art i'm actually going to go to simple because i am old and this makes it a little easier for me to read the cards on the screen so i swapped over to the simple but i wanted to make sure you saw the card art first in fact why don't we take a look so um, this is a card game. It has, it's going to get a deck of cards that has three suits, palms, dolphins, and sunglasses, which, you know, so thematic and adorable. You're going to get mm -hmm. a bunch of individual, like, mini decks for a player. So you're going to get your own bidding cards. You're going to get your own um, bet cards and a bunch of sand dollars and a shark token in there that you can see. So that's really cool. And then uh, here's some more of the cards that you can see. You see those bidding cards on the left. So you're going to get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that you'll see as um, uh, as we play the game, obviously. And then we are actually going to play in a certain number of rounds. And you can see here, here's the round counter. And the number of rounds you play is totally based on the number of players that you have. Basically, you're going to play a certain number of rounds. And whoever has the most sand dollars at the end of the game is going to win. So that's very cool. Oh, that got real big, but that's okay. Here are um, some more of those cards. Oh, you know, technology. This is what you get when when I do it. Um, and one other thing I wanted to show you here is uh, the, uh, I don't know, I guess the player aid cards because yeah. there are actually mm -hmm. four different ways that you can play this game. Along with the player count range, there's an easy mode, which I think they recommend mostly if you wanted to play with kids. It's super, super simplified. Normal right. mode, advanced mode, which is what I've been playing, and then extreme mode, which we're not going to play today. We're going to play advanced, which advanced is going to be comfortable for anybody who's really familiar with uh, trick-taking games. Uh, you can just jump right into advanced. If you aren't familiar with trick-taking games, you might want to try normal mode, which actually mm -hmm. removes one of the three suits. So you only play with two suits to make it a little cleaner. <laughs> so there you go. Um, all righty. Yes, yeah, you ready? Yeah. Well, let's 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 talk about the game. So here we oh. have a uh, twin palms laid out. Again, Mandy, no peeking. Okay. So you're gonna get dealt out ten cards, and a round lasts five tricks when you look at your hand at the beginning of a round you are going to bid on how many tricks you're going to take again this is very standard in a trick taking game and so i can bid up to five including zero or nil well wait a minute why have 10 cards why can i only bid up to five because first twist in twin palms you play cards out in pairs so even though you have 10 cards you're only you're going to play two per turn and we'll talk about that in a second. 
after you bid, another twist in this game you can see is that there is a betting option. You can bet points and take that risk if you're really confident about hitting your bid exactly. If you go high or low, you don't get your bet. But that is an option for you. And one of the nice things about this, beyond it just being a little different and unique, is it's kind of like helps you catch up at the end. You can take higher risks if you feel like you're mm. falling behind and try to make that big swing. So you can see I can bet zero. Just play my hand. I can bet half the points of the round or I can bet the max. What that is referencing is the max that you can bet is the number of round that you're in. So if I'm in round three, the max I can bet is three points. You can never bet, you know, like, oh, I'll bet 20 points. It doesn't work quite like that. So that's what the betting is. So deal the cards, bid on how many tricks you're going to take, bet on whether you're going to hit it exactly, and then you're going to play this really funky trick-taking where you play a pair of cards, and then you can see the player aid where it says advanced, and the way that the two cards are played, that just shows you an example of the rank. So in Twin Palms, palms are the strongest suit. There is no following suit in this game. There is no trump in this game. There is hand ranking or pair ranking. So palms are the strongest suit, dolphins are the second strongest, and sunglasses are technically the weakest suit. And then you can see uh, as you look at the card that, you know, pairs are stronger than non-matching cards being played and things like that. And you'll see how that plays out as we go. The last couple of things I want to point out is that if you tie exactly in a hand, in a, in a play, nobody takes the trick. That hosed us, Mandy. Do you remember that? Oh when my goodness, so many times. Two of us tied. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And yes. um, really interesting, you can kind of see it on the bidding cards, but depending on what your bid is, if you hit it exactly, you're going to get a bunch of points. So if you bid one and you get it exactly, you'll get three points. If you bid five and you take all five, you're going to get 15 points, which is a pretty big deal. If I bid five and I only take three, I will get one point per trick I did take. So I'll get three points instead. But going from 15 points down to three is a pretty big swing, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And then if you bid nil in this game, which if you know, you're a trick-taking fan, who doesn't love going nil, right? If you bid nil and you make it, you're going to get five points. Huzzah. If you miss it, there's no pity points. You just get zilch. So yeah, that's rough. keep that in mind as well. I think those are the big rules, Mandy. Anything mm -hmm. that you think I missed? Or should we just kind of dig in? Get in, in and then exactly. All right. So I'm I'm looking at my hand here. I'm assessing, assessing. Oh, boy. <sighs> this is so tricky. Oh, I get boy. overconfident. And then oh, it just never goes well for me. All right. All right. Well, I'm, I'm seeing what I got here. I'm going to say... Oh, this could be so good and so bad. Are you bold, at the same time. maybe. I don't know. Do I see you as a bold player? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, are I know, you I saying think... you think I have it in the chat? I love it. No, yeah, that was it. for. Um. 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 Oh my goodness! It's the game. Uh, is it macaron? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So I was like, I think Got he has it. it. I, I have it. Yeah, okay. I thought you did I as well. I think. Oh. I'm and gonna... welcome, no soul, no prop. Thanks for popping by. Okay. And Benita, what happened? Did you hurry yourself? Sorry, I'm kind of looking at the chat and doing this yeah. at the same time. I've been so absent on Twitter. So what happened? Okay. I she she broke her that. hand. Oh, I'm sorry. That's awful. All right. Uh, oh, look what did we bid? So now if you look at the right-hand panel, it shows what we bid. Uh, <laughs> and this is... It's all even. So Mandy bid two, I bid three. So there's five tricks in the hand. So let's let's see how it goes. Mandy, I you have the shark. Three. You have the yes. shark, so you get to go. Hey, I play ninja. Thanks so much for gifting subs. That's awesome. I know we don't and have a lot of time, but thank you. That's Kira. Oh well, of course. I it know. Is. <laughs> all right, Mandy. Yes, I'm Mandy, decided. it's gotta play a pair. So again, we're assessing our hands based on that pair chart that you see under the, the advanced banner there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is concerning. So many concerns. Okay, let's try this. 
Yes. Okay. I do that. A 4-3 suited. Interesting. Super weak out of the gate. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play. <laughs> Don't say that loud. <laughs> I mean, oh, well, it's a scream. I, mean, I have to verbalize my thought process. That's true. That's true. So I'm going to play this. So I'm going to play a 6-2 palms. So not only are palms stronger, but my 6 was higher. My high card was higher than Mandy's. So I took that. Exactly. Um. Oh, Mandy, I'm going to do this. Going first you. is not always great, I find. Sometimes not going first is good. We. I was talking about this when I was playing with friends the other night, and you and I talked about this a little bit. Turn order super matters, which I like. Oh, for sure. And how you assess your hand, you're paying attention to where you are in the turn order in that round. For sure. No! Oh, no! Bye, Benita. Thanks I for popping in. I wasn't expecting that. Bye, Benita. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see how long this lasts. Son though. of a biscuit! Oh, my goodness! This could go very Abby, poorly oh. for me. I don't know. I don't know. It's um, not good for me. But it's all okay. even, right? That's true. I mean, ideally, okay, okay, okay. We're, it's even. So we're trying not to make each I other. Know, but like, it is fun when it's all even. It's like, is it worth setting the other person, right? This is just the first one, though. Like, you know, we gotta like warm it up a little bit. Do just we? Just saying. Do we? Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, let's. I'm gonna let the fates decide. Because I, I have to think this is mine. Pair of palm nines. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and for the record, the cards in the deck range from 0 to 10, and there's two of every card. So you can get that, you know, double nine palms. There are also two wilds, so uh, in each suit as well. So you'll see those pop up occasionally. Well, okay. there we go. We played so friendly. I should have bet. All righty. Oh, don't worry. It's 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 gonna be on in okay. a moment. It's so gonna be in on. BGA. You can see I have the shark token next to me right now. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> okay. <gasps> let's look at. I always do this. I look at the bets and I'm like, oh, maybe I should look at my cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to look at your cards. Oops. Oh, I'm looking at my cards. Oh yeah. Oh I'm yeah. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. <laughs> Um, ooh, this could go very poorly so, for me. So, folks in chat, are you, do you play trick-taking games? It's interesting mm. how, like, trick-taking games for me, that's what I cut my teeth on in gaming. My grandparents yeah. were big bridge players, so, like, I was at their bridge parties, like, with all these little old people. It was adorable, right? I was at their bridge parties when I was a, you know, very young kid. Um, right. And so I love, love trick-taking games in all their iterations. But it's interesting, as I've been in the hobby game industry, how many people don't play trick-taking games. or yeah. and, and how hard it is to learn a trick-taking game if you've never done it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mandy, you bid three. Yeah. What did I you bid? I bid zero. Going nil, baby. Oh, this should be interesting. So Yikes. Ken Poe says they play diamonds. Love diamonds. Jim Crimmins is saying they love trick-taking games, which is great. Yeah. I see wizard. Love wizard. Oh, yeah. Wizards. I have played, played that. Wizard. Yeah. It's a trick-taking pretty standard, but they have a hmm. wizard card and a jester card. And, like, the wizards always win oh. and the jesters always lose, which is oh, so. I'm seeing a lot of so good. So this is one. All I'm right. like, I played a lot. I'm going here. See, yeah, I'm in the lead and I'm trying to duck. So it's not great to be in the lead when you're. So how are ties broken? T ties aren't broken. If you are perfectly tied, for example, I mean, if you play a one zero of the exact same suit, then nobody takes the trick. They, mm -hmm. they nullify each other. But if I play one and zero of different. Color if you play system. one and zero of a different suit, it depends on what the suit is. Because if yeah. you play like a one of that's better than the sunglasses, theoretically, that would take right it. exactly. Like exactly. I, I, I saw my hand; I knew what I had. Yeah, my hand's a problem. <laughs> Skull King is coming up in the chat. Great <gasps> one. Love Skull King. So yep. good. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. This is a situation, everybody, and I am not here for it. 
Ron talks tabletops, talking about Fox in the Forest. Good call, good call. Mm-hmm. Okanagan John is saying euchre. So my family's oh. from the Midwest, and euchre's huge in the Midwest. Tons of euchre. Oh, what? 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 No! <laughs> ah! That's why I had to ask. I'm like, what if we're no! tied? But I, I oh, my gosh. Like, Mandy, you're killing me. <laughs> this is this is not good. Okay, come on. Your hand is probably you're just she's saying that and then like oop, oop, sorry, take no, it, eat it. No, As one mom you says, got, eat it. You have you it's a one zero Ah <laughs> Farnsworth. Farnsworth, um, I say. I'd say sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> but you're not. Nobody thinks you are, Mandy. All I'm right, sorry. well. And I'm looking at the chat here. And Skull King physical copy. Very cool. I actually have the version, because I, I didn't realize there were several versions, but the version I have is different. So I'm not sure. Yeah, if the there's company. an American version is, and a European the art. version. Oh, yeah. you broke my nil. Oh, look at the look at in the BGA interface, everything turns red. I got it, BGA. Like, I got it. Thanks. It's angry. It's like Thanks. Haha, you failed. <laughs> Stupid game. It's wah, definitely wah, wah. the game and not the player. Oh, but Mandy. Let's, let's be clear. It's not going to – I still think I'm going to be on the outs as well, so don't worry. Okay, so Jim Crimmins just dropped the P word in chat, and now Jim and I got to hang because Jim says that they cut their teeth on Pinochle, which is like a top five game of all time for me. I love Pinochle okay. so much. Okay, I'm trying to determine what I need to do here. This is a problem. Yeah, Okanagan John, the crew can be really hard to, right? Because it follows some really basic tenets of trick taking, but those are like, okay, you have to follow suit unless you can't follow suit or you have this special card on top of all the gamification of the conditions that you're trying to meet. That is tough. Right. Uh, let's do that. Uh,. Yes. I so don't know you're calling. Gonna... Okay. So here's the wild. So it's a palm wild. Mandy's making it a seven, which you can see in BGA. You can see underneath, like the little number next to the palm tree turned to a seven. So you're playing a pair of sevens. Mm hmm. Okie dokie. Artichokey. At this point now, she's like, it's on. I'm, I'm, oh, I cannot believe you did that. Oh, oh. oh but no, but I'm over. See? So we're both over. Right, which I think dinged you. You lost like one point based on that. Did you bet? Right. Oh, did. you did bet too. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, consolation. Just, you know, just in you're case. still up though. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, but not by. This is where it gets a little tri tricky. <laughs> yeah. So James right. is saying that they learned cribbage just four years ago. Another great game, and it's now mm -hmm. your number two. I get that. Oh, nice. If you like playing games on your mobile device, check out. Um, cribbage with grandpas it is a Ooh. fabulous cribbage app that you can play on your phone and you get to create the grandpa that you play against and like give them personality traits and like make like customize their look and then like you can make them salty and sassy mm. <laughs> and then they like then they give you shade while you're playing against them it's oh, great fantastic. <laughs> Oh, right. this oh is... look at this hand. Don't not you, Mandy. Don't look at my hand. No, no, I'm looking at my head and I'm trying to determine like what is happening. And yeah. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna click this little sort cards by color button. That's what I do, because uh. it's a situation. Oh uh, yeah, okay, this that's is for sure. That's for thing. sure. Sort yeah, I don't know. Color. That could be a thing. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Oh, this is a trickamundo. Okay, so there's that. Okay, that's going to be maybe, maybe. This is where it gets a bit weird. You're a little Ooh. bit weird. Yeah, think about it. Uh, ah! Okay. I'm, I'm concerned. Okay, we're going to do this, but I'm... I think... Yeah. And see, here's where I'm falling behind a little bit. I'm feeling some pressure. So I'm going to bet this round. We're only in round three. I think I'm going to bet. I mean, right? Go big or go home. Isn't that the... Fair. Uh, that is true. And I mean, you're only behind by like a few points. Oh, yeah, here we go. It, so it, it cast, even again. Like it, it, it gets bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't know. This could go... Yeah. All right, it's me. 
Yeah. Oh, this is concerning. Um, sure. Let's do that. What do you... <laughs> I got really pair quiet of there. Zeros, an off-suited pair of zeros. Now, remember, in Twin Palms, pairs are always pretty good. Sure, sure. But this will kind of like set the tone as to like what I'm yeah. working with. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, pairs are always good. <laughs> so, and I probably, I don't think we said it, but this is available on Kickstarter. We did earlier, but yeah. It's we did? We? Thing. Okay. Sorry. I was. I was in fact, it's on Kickstarter there. right now. It is. So, if that's something that interests you, did I just win that? You did unbelievable but you played a pair so i assumed you wanted to win it i sure didn't <laughs> but that's okay hmm. i digress well interesting table talk there now i got a metagame mandy what's she <laughs> talking about here you know it's funny no one has said anything about my hair color i thought for sure like i was like shocked when i went dark I was like oh my gosh this is so weird i haven't had dark hair in it's been a long time. And I feel like maybe it's just normal now for everybody. I don't know. It threw me off a little bit. All right. I'm, I'm trying gonna... to make convo while Suzanne's thinking. Yes, you're doing great. Fill in the air. I mean, I'll do that, <laughs> right? Okay, that was oh, a weird one. Beth, thank you. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. It's been a while. <laughs> Speaking of Kickstarters and Beth Sobel, I see that yes. um, her fancy, fancy decks of cards are starting to arrive in backers' hands. I'm very excited. I backed for – I actually got enough to play Pinochle with, so I think I got two decks so I can make a Pinochle deck. So I'm super That's excited for my, my pleasure. They're arrives. so pretty. So if yeah. you all haven't seen them, amazing. You know what? We'll have to do a card game or something, Suzanne, using the decks yeah. on a stream. Yeah, to show those off. All right. Let's – What's me? Oh, okay. I do have a tough choice here. I'm going to... Are you the kind of player? I love the chat now. See, I feel better about the dark hair. It's weird for me because I'm used to colored hair. So thank you for the very kind words in the chat. I appreciate that. It's definitely less maintenance. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Lo. Okay. That's right, Charlie Bink. The Beth Sobel. <laughs> oh, this and is concerning. And her art is pretty amazing. I'm so many levels what are you Actually, gonna do let's... mandy because i know like i'm afraid you Ugh. yeah i'm concerned about this okay so let me be clear here now i need to make sure so if i had a pair that were lower but of the same color would it beat that a pair that's lower will lose okay same color though it doesn't so matter let's... what color it is now Excellent. let's be clear oh the same color the, the cards are the same color Sorry, the cards are the same. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. If you play a same suited pair that's lower, it will win because oh, this God. game is cruel and unusual. I'm so sad about this. Like, I don't even know. I don't even well, know. Well, and, and one of the things about trick-taking games, right, is assessing your hand. And certainly by playing in pairs, it it especially for experienced trick-takers, it changes how you have to think about your hand. And I really like that as kind of a fresh yeah. twist. And looking at are you suited or not, are like all of a sudden being heavily suited has a different value than it would in a more standard trick taking game. Mm hmm. All right. What what you doing? I I mean I'm doing this, Mandy. Oh well. So that's oh, a pair no. of sunglass nines. What should I do? I think that's a good option. That is. And now, Mandy, pretty sure this this should be yeah. yours. There you go. We're good. We're good. And uh, yeah. So Tracy's asking if we've played this with the shark yet. No, we haven't had the chance. But uh, <laughs> For those okay. who don't know who the shark is. Ashley. Is friend Ashley. <laughs> who we would love to have on along with David. Our, our, yes. our snark and our shark. Snark. <laughs> our snark yes. and our shark. All right. I want to point out here that... Because I bid high, right? And the scaling on the points for how many, what you bid is real interesting. I like the, the math mm -hmm. here. And because right. I bet max, I really closed that point gap. I'm still behind, but one only one point now. But it's I really only one like point. That. 
Yeah. Yeah, which is great. Ooh. Ooh. What the? What oh, the? I don't know. Actually, this hand is tricky. Oh, this is tricky. Yeah, like I'm afraid that I have a feeling we have similar hands and I think it's going to be bad. I think it's going to be bad. And and I think it's really, really interesting, right? Because for trick-taking players, perfect information is reasonably standard, certainly in classic trick-taking games. In Twin Palms and in other games like The Crew or whatnot, right, you don't have all the cards in play. So you, you have to, like, take some risks and guesses in terms of what might actually come out. The way Twin Palms balances that is even though you don't have perfect information, and in fact, in a two-player game, a ton of cards aren't going to be in the hand in the round, um, it's this pair. It's this hand management. It's the fact that you're playing them out in pairs really helps balance that out. And that's also why I personally, as I've played multiple games now, I think it scales well is because you're you st you're losing that information, but you still have that paired hand management that's such a critical part of the game. And I, I like that, that it works that way a lot. Oh, gosh. What to do? What to do? All yeah, right. I'm let's... gonna do this. I'm, like, wavering between two, but I feel like I don't want to be too confident. I really like the betting, too. I And I don't usually like betting, and I'm kind of feeling this, because it's not... It doesn't stress me out. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think i wonder what you have though see and i i'm concerned that we're gonna be fighting for the same thing. i'm gonna bet zero on this one i don't feel good about this i want to feel better oh. about this hand but i don't well i'm now i'm concerned now i feel like i should have bet the four i initially was gonna do but all right alas. i'm gonna do <laughs> dun dun dun, dun. Okay, yes. you bid three, I bid three. We're fighting for them. Ooh, this is when trick taking gets good. I knew it. Fight, fight, but fight. I knew, I knew you were going to do three. I'm like, just from the way you're talking, I guarantee you we have the same kind of hand. I, I'm oh, convinced. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is. I'm, I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh. And while you're thinking, James, yes, I've played Songbirds. Actually, uh, I had bought two copies and ended up giving one to a friend because she loved it. Um yeah so it's hey, really Gator good Dave. hello thanks for popping in oh i see this is what we're starting with eh well, hmm. I, I did not like being in the lead for this for this round at all the fact i had the lead shark token did not make me happy for this one okay let's try this oh uh, well uh uh oh <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh, you did. Oh, never mind. I'm misreading the screen. Sorry. I was like, what? I'm like, did I not press the 10? <laughs> Don't scare me. I know, right? Sorry, sorry. No, you're good. I just... Old. Wait, but no, you're right, old. because then I should have won, right? Oh, I had a better suit. I had dolphins. Oh, yeah, that was it. You had dolphins. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's, again... Yeah, that's what I was like. You yeah, gotta no, reference the player card, and yeah, it shows, exactly. and it, it's quite good at showing that, like, a pair of ones in palms will beat a pair of seven in sunglasses. Yeah. It's just, oh, that's Mandy, I think that you just got into trouble then. No. No, oh, trust me. No, uh -oh. no, no. Or not. <laughs> well, now I'm nervous. Why? Don't be nervous. Well, shut up. <laughs> I mean, okay. Thanks, Mandy. Fins up. Hashtag fins up. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to play this. Interesting. So Charlie Bink from Bink Inc. is in the chat, and it's nerve-wracking to play in front of the publisher, right? Because right? they've played this game so much, and they're looking at the choices you make, and they're probably just laughing and laughing, like... Like, what's happening? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well... <laughs> oh, what you... I gotta... I gotta. I, I'm enjoying Sue's going first because it allows me to react. I know, to it. right? So I'm not mad at it. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Mm. For now. <laughs> All right. Where are you at? You're at two. Mind your mind your business. You pay attention to your cards. 
<laughs> Mind your beeswax. All right. Ah! Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. What we got? What we got? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Yes! Yes! No! Yes! Yes! Ah. Oh! <laughs> I thought suited pair! Sure. Suited pair! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That is so... Look at that. I'm at 16 now. I know. I bet hard. I bet hard. I didn't bet because I was, like, so nervous about it. I didn't bet. But, um... Son that's of a biscuit. okay. But that's where that's... that... And, like, I was heavily suited and I realized I could make enough, like, suited yeah. pairs. That, oh. Which is great. Wow. See, oh, ooh, I have a wow. thing going on here, but I don't know. Who knows ooh. anything anymore? This is so tricky. It, yeah. Well, mind you, how many rounds do go? Is this the last round? Uh, two more. This two more. This okay, and that's one more. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, hold the phone here. Tracy, Let's... Tracy's saying I'm sedate. It's <laughs> not a bad thing necessarily. This is. What's oh. funny is that like this is just how I play games. So it's like I've definitely made some people mad at me at conventions because i'll like be a little noisy Oops. sorry friends. i'm i'm debating on what to do this is i, I mean, don't know yeah this, this is, is i get you i get you girl i get you just because of yeah i don't know about this huh i'm i'm ahead and... i'm gonna play it fairly safe I'm going to play fairly safe. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ken Poe, if I, it's, it's, this, no puns are intentional here. Don't even <laughs> start with me, chat. I don't even know I'm what I'm supposed you. to do with this hand. It's you, concerning. Chat. Okay, let's try this. Oh, we're fighting. It's a fight. Fight, fight, fight. Um, yes. Oh, no, this is so bad. <laughs> Uh, it's me. I have to play two ha! cards. Well, You're in the lead. This isn't going to be Beth, you good. lie. There are no puns. <laughs> okay, let's try that. <laughs> what? I mean... This is, this is a really weird hand that I have, and I'm concerned. You sh... That's... That's... That's a... Okay. All right. All right. All right. My pair will beat your not pair. That's okay. I'm not mad at it. Mm. You say that now. <laughs> I say that now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This hand. This hand. All See, right, well, mine, it's funny. It's a funny hand. You're a funny hand. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> um, I almost think I want to do... Yeah, you know, I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. Let's just... Let's just watch. Let's just watch. Just, let's just watch Malarkey. I'm just just seeing what happens. Just seeing what happens, let's and then I'll just adjust. Watch. I'll, and I'll, then I'll you know respond and react. All right, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, let's do that and see. Well, yeah, suited. <laughs> Suited will take like, it. I mean, yeah. That will do it. <laughs> I didn't want to go first, but here we are. Um... Oh. oh. Okay. Well, then I will do. <laughs> You're like, uh, yeah. This. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good, oh. good, good. Now, here's. This the is where it gets. Yeah, well, I'm not worried. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm... Well, you might want to be worried. <laughs> you might be taking a little more than you anticipated. Oh, shoot. I bet, too. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. I got a plan. I got a plan. Don't I read the chat. Plan, plan, plan. I'm not reading Hunting. the chat. I got a plan. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is so good. It's so what good. What you going to do, bad. Mandy? What you going to do? Well, I think, oh, yeah, I got to do this carefully here because. Nobody tell yeah. Mandy, but I'm setting a trap. Set the, all the traps you want. I know. You're like, why'd you bid so high? 
All right. I know. It just didn't go the way I wanted, but it just makes you eat more. Ah! <laughs> Bummer. Okay. I I'd hoped. Ugh. So I didn't really. I hoped you had a pair left, even if it wasn't suited. No, I didn't. Ugh. I Because I knew what you were trying to do. So I'm like, no, girl. Bye. We're just going to make yeah. you eat it. <laughs> the player got played. Oh, mm. but we're getting. Is this this is the final round? Woo. Final round. That's how quick this game is. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, obviously it scales for player count and things like that. But for two, it's this super is, fast, super jazzy. This is this is a doozy. And in the physical copy of the game, which I I have here, like it's it's you know obviously we're playing digitally, but mm -hmm. um, at least in the prototype. And again, I've been sent an early prototype, so components may change, etc. But, you know, they give you, like, every player gets, I guess you can't see, like, every player is going to get a series of these uh, player aid cards, which is great. And then every player gets um, their own, which, again, you saw um, their own betting cards and then their mm -hmm. own um, bidding cards as well, which, so it's, it's a really nice production in terms of what you have as a player in front of you. I like and um, Snark has entered the chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is so bad. Like, uh, I have a very odd hand, and I'm not sure. I do, too. Like, it could go either way, but I don't know, and I... Mm, I'm concerned, to be honest. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's do this, actually. All right, chat. Uh, Mandy, let me know when you've bid. Yeah, yeah, let me, I'm still pondering Because I'm going to ask chat for help. But I don't, but it would, yeah, so. You let me know when you've clicked confirm. Yeah, and no, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, let's, I've confirmed. Okay. I mean, so last chat, round. You can see my hand. You've been hanging out with us. You know how the game's played. Do I go nil on this hand? I, I think I can. But you like see, like, debating. when I sort by this, you can see, like, this little cluster. So what do you think? Somebody give me guidance. Nil or should I go? You know, okay, Charlie Bink, <laughs> the publisher. How do I ban? What's the command in Twitch for ban? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't ban Charlie. Don't ban Charlie, exactly. Do oh, forget it. Never wait. Why am I asking chat anything? This is the least helpful chat group. Like, I can like these people, but also think they're awful people, right? <laughs> Jim. Great. Jim comes through. Thank you, Jim. Uh, the, I'll take the first real answer at this point. <laughs> Should I bet? Mm. I've already bet, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Really so it's matter. 26 to 17. And let's be clear, I need a miracle here. I'm so. gonna, okay, okay. Let's see what we do. What did you bet? Zero. I bid. Yeah. I I bid zero. So, Ugh. and but I bet three. You bet six sure, sure, again. Sure. That lovely kind of the way that they that scales, right? It's it's a little bit of a catch up mechanism, practically. Higher right. risk, well, higher reward. Let's see. I might go down in flames, or it could go really well. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I would love to not. Actually, not down in flames. Maybe down in the waves. Oh, good gravy, Mandy. What is your, just what is your problem? Just saying. You're just, All right, what you got? What I you got, got. I got. Nope, not that. <laughs> um. I'm concerned. This is taking a while. Oh, I. I'm in the lead. I should. Ah, this is tough. Uh, all right, I gotta. I don't love this though. I guess I'll do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, oh, whatever. Gotta... Just play a card. I'm thinking. You just pipe down there, Chachi. <laughs> Chachi. You know what's great, Mandy, is how many like people in our like sphere will even get that reference now, you know? I know, right? I don't Ugh. think anybody will. Okay, let's do I'm feeling like this and this is good. Yes. Um 
Let's play. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, what you're I put suited, so you're gonna beat me no matter what. Yeah. So sure. Yeah, which I suspected. I heard that. I know you heard nothing. What? Yeah. <laughs> and look, see, <laughs> David got the reference. I call people Chachi all the time. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> okay, I have to remember. Oh yeah, the that's true. Beth. Chachi loves puns, so it is awkward. That's true. Not that I have a <laughs> lot of. Oh, I do have a choice. No, I do. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I love David. You really don't. <laughs> I need to. I can't remember. So if I play a mixed, you know, like two different values. If I play higher, but I don't play palms. Yeah, then I think that I. Because the palms are the stronger I suit. I right? I'm looking at the thing here and it says. Let's see here. Oh, well. Oh, and y'all are just going to sit there and watch while I figure out the rules because I'm not misplaying. I'm not missing this nil. The suits don't and matter Charlie mixed. Thinks, oh, yeah. it's just the the high, the value? It's just the value, yeah. Well. In advance. In advance. Okay. Shnikes. That means I have to burn this, and that's a bummer. Oh, well. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, for me. <laughs> so then, so Charlie's saying in advance, it's only the high card. But in extreme, is that where the suits kick in there too, I think? And that's where, like, right, the the different modes of play. It's not that, like, the game plays totally differently, but the the values and what you, the, the trail right. or tail that you have to follow is, is deeper. Pair of tens? Yes, I am expecting I will probably win this. Y yes, which means I like... can dump. I can dump. Oh, wait. Suits. <laughs> Pay attention to suits because I don't want to get hosed by suits. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I think it's... I love Jim Crimmins is all like dump time, which honestly, without the context of the type of game we're playing, that doesn't sound great, Jim. <laughs> and Tracy, you spoke too soon. <laughs> Poop a loop. It's about to happen. Poop a loop. What? Whoa. Oh, OK. No, wait. You played an eight high. You played an eight high. Suits don't matter. Uh Oh, uh oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait, no, wait, I want to do, <laughs> no, I can't do that, this. I gotta do, see, this is, this is what Twin Palms does, I think, mechanically, especially if you know trick-taking games, the game is pretty straightforward, but these yeah. choices are really interesting, and I know what I have to play, but I'm going down, I'm mentally going down this advanced chart, like, trying to make sure I don't, you know, really boof yeah. something up here. No, I think you're good. Because then you would you would laugh and laugh and make fun. Because my me. my I I overestimated. I should have oh! done five. Oh, thank goodness! Woo! Woo! I tanked everybody. Woo! I tanked. Woo! Look how many points. <laughs> oh, oh, so sad. I was trying to do like yes, I'll just do that big dump at the end, and then I was like, <laughs> oh, my hand is stronger than I thought. So well, you know, there we Crazy. are. <laughs> This is actually worse than last game. At least we lost by like seven points last time. <laughs> oh, my first victory in Board Game Arena. Yay! I got my my thing. Mandy, should we go back up to the main scene? Yes, let's head back over. That was Twin Palms, folks. Ooh, I know. Two player, right? <laughs> two player trick taking game. I don't know what people in the chat were seeing, but I think it plays great at two. And it was different with two because I know when we played it with that's three. Right. I did feel, I don't know, I feel I felt I had more wiggle room, like someone to kind of like rely on, so to speak. But sure, two sure. players, like, it's tight. Yeah. So it's tense. Yeah. I yeah. love that. And and like I said, I've now played it at two, three, and four. I haven't played it at five yet. Um, and it played great at three, played great at four, you know? So and I think again it's that imperfect information and the the hand management element that really yeah. allows that kind of scaling to be so smooth. Um Good game. You just <laughs> love you. No. 
I, I got, see, that's what happens to me. I'm usually risk averse, but no, I thought tonight, let me just put it all on the line. Well, look what happened. <laughs> hey, YOLO, you know, that's, that's, that's the world of trick taking. Thanks for hanging out, Jim. Thanks for yes, hanging thanks. out, everybody. That's Twin Poems. It is currently on Kickstarter from Bink Inc. Thank you so much, Bink Inc., for supporting Sultan yes. Sass. You're this is like our first like relaunch stream. So really lucky to have an awesome game to do that in Twin Palms. You can check it out. I know the green screen's all wonky warpy, on this, warpy. But... And uh, I love uh, Beth's comment. When your opponent clearly puts a question mark in the end of her good game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's not Accurate. called sweets and love stream, you know, Whichever. friendly, happy, shiny. Mm -mm. Oh, I should probably let everybody know. So for those who do follow me on to die for games, um, that will actually be turning into Salt and Sass. So the content that's there will still exist, um, but the name will change over and the current Salt and Sass channel will actually be no more. So eventually this will be uploaded on the To Die For Games channel, which will be turned into Salt and Sass games. So keep an eye out for that. And I apologize, it's a little confusing, but getting it all sorted out. So we'll have more content soon. Really excited that we got to play this game um, as our kind of first game back together. And uh, yeah, still working out details for podcast stuff. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. Mandy, who are we going to – we got to find somebody to raid. I know. I'm really bad at this. I feel like an old person I, when I, I am, do this. I am also super bad at this. Um, So, you know, that's – oh, I, nope, they're offline. Um, Oh, ah, oh that's thanks so – Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Let me see. Let's see who's – who's. oh, here we go. Do you um, – uh, Tawijia. So that's my friend Mandy. Ha, <laughs> ha. So, and she's probably doing some really cute games. So I, think I don't have, know how to do it. Like, how do I? I think I, you have to do a slash host. In the, in the. In the chat. Slash yeah, host. Slash host. And then I think you put a space and then her, her screen name is T-A-W-E-J-E-A. E-J-E-A. Okay. Well, I hopefully think. that'll work. Um. So I yeah, so. folks, thanks for being here. We'll be back soon with more streams. Go check out Twin Palms. You yes. can play it on Board Game Arena right now. If that looked like fun, grab some friends online, get on a Zoom chat and play it on Board Game Arena. Try the higher player count. I think you'll find it plays really smoothly. And um, yeah, okay, I'm going to do host Tawija. Do I need to? Okay, I'm just going to hit enter. Enter, yeah, and it should work, hopefully. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> yeah, I think it worked. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Thanks everybody for being here. It was so awesome. You're the best. Even though you right. say puns. <laughs> Is Thanks, it raid Charlie. or host? It's raid, right? Yeah. Sorry, raid. I said host. I meant yeah, raid. Yeah, you said host. I'm yeah, clicking sorry, on raid and it's not letting me. Okay. Well, we'll we'll just have to let it go, I think, for today and figure it out next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like, I give up. All right. All right, everybody. Have Thanks, a good everyone. night. Bye. Okay, bye. I was so bad at this. <laughs>